Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to cover adding a toggleable prop to your avatar. It's very easy and straightforward to do, but it can sometimes be a bit annoying, especially if you have a lot you want to add. But first, some prerequisites. We're talking about making toggleable props for 3D avatars using VC Phase. If you're not using VC Phase, then this video won't apply to you. We will be using the special VC Phase SDK, which has many pros and cons. I have already made a separate video covering it, which will be linked below. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. First, you need a 3D model or texture to toggle. I will be using this cute apple I got for free from TurboSquid. It needs to be in a format that Unity can import, which is thankfully many kinds of formats. Second, we need to actually import it into Unity. So I'll just drag the Apple model into a folder. So these are all the files that came with the asset that I downloaded from TurboSquid. And I just directly copy them into a Unity folder. Now we need to drag the model into our scene and attach it to our model on a particular bone. Which bone do you want to attach it to? Well, where do you want it to be tracked? Most props will likely be attached to the head to follow the head movement. But some may attach to the neck or hands or fingers or such. Place it wherever you feel is best to place it, and some experimentation may be needed. In our case, we will attach it to the head. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate down to where the head is. Yours may look different than mine. Um, every avatar has a different kind of... the bones are a little bit different in every avatar. In my case, we need to go to the root, the hips, the spine, the upper chest, the neck, and then finally the head. And you can see I've already got quite a lot of props attached to the head. This is the head is going to be what, what most VTubers are going to attach it to. Let's drag this apple to the head. Let's first make sure that the scale is one and that the position is zero. So then you might notice, well, where is it? Well, I can tell you where it is. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> well, this is pretty... <laughs> Well, this is pretty funny. I probably want to, to resize this. Um, so let's go up here to the resize tool. Let's, uh, let's resize that a bit. Let's resize it a little bit more. And let's move it up. Now, it's, qu it's very quite common in Unity for the textures to not import correctly. I don't know why that is. It could be, there might be something I don't really know, but it's really, really common for that to happen. We can definitely fix that. Um, but first let's get it positioned right. Now let's go ahead and apply the shader. There you go. Now I'm not quite happy with it because I kind of want the apple to be more of a flat color, not a gradient, like you can see here. Um, but to do that would mean kind of redoing all the textures. And so I'm just going to kind of leave it as it is for now. We're done with that. So now if you export it, the apple is going to be there. If this is all you want to do, then you're essentially completely done. But if you want to make it toggleable, then we need to do a little bit more to it. First of all, to make it toggleable, we need to have a default state. Is the apple going to be on your avatar by default or is it going to be off by default? Most people are going to select off by default. I'm going to go ahead and select that too. Just and so put it in its default state, whether that's on or off. We need to create a blend key. In case you're wondering what a blend key is, it's this. So you go into your blend shapes. I have quite a lot. So click blend shape. You're going to see all this stuff. So blend shape originally refers to sort of like an expression on your face, like angry or fun or blinking or joy. But blend shapes also serve a second purpose, which is allowing you to control animations. We're going to create an empty blend shape. Literally, it's really simple. You click this button, you name it, anything you want to name it. What you name here is what's going to appear in VC face. So we're just going to call it Apple. And then we're going to just hit save. And you'll notice it appears at the end of the list on here. If you want, you can actually go into the list and reorder this and rearrange it, but I, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to leave it Apple. This is also, if you want to delete it, you can delete it here too, and you can also rename it here as well. 
but again i don't really want to do all that now we need to make the animation and believe it or not this is actually very very easy because if you've ever made animations in vr chat you'll know that it's actually a lot harder because you have to make the animation on and then make a second animation off and you have to hook it into sort of an animation system that's vr chat in vc face you don't have to do any of that VC face already has his own animation system. You don't have to do anything and you don't have to make it off animation. VC face pretty much undoes the animation on its own. So it's really simple. Essentially what we're going to do, let me go back. Hi, here. Okay. I'm going to click the root avatar up here, which is me. I am going to go to animations. I'm going to go down here. I've got all the animations I've made. I'm going to create a new clip and I'm going to call it Apple. And then literally all I'm going to do is hit the record button, click here, talk along. Now, if your avatar disappears like mine, don't worry. It's actually down here. For some reason, the avatar, it does like weird things. Like when you start recording, don't ask me, but it's there. Go to the next frame, recheck this box. Now, both of these are on. We have a two-frame animation with both of them on. That's it. Unclick preview. You're done. We need to drag this into the proper folder, into the animations folder. This is important. Go to your animation file. Make sure this is unchecked. You see it's checked by default. Make sure it's unchecked. If this is checked, it will not work right. It, or more specifically, it will be working right, but it will be toggling on and off so fast. To you, it will look like it's not working at all. It, to you, it will look like it's permanent. It's, it's just not turning on. So make sure this is unchecked. So we've got the animation to turn it on. That does not loop. We've got the blend shape set up so we can kind of hook this together. We need to go to, to a dark princess up here, our avatar. When you scroll down to the very bottom, you need to have a component called VSF animations. This is in the SDK I mentioned in the original video. So in the original video, I explained about the SDK, the pros and cons and how to get it. By default, you will not have this. This is for custom stuff. You'll have to go to add, click the add component button and add it in if you don't already have it. And so you can see I've already kind of, I've really added a lot of stuff here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the plus. I'm going to click here. I'm going to look, it's going to be at the very end. It's not in alphabetical order. It's at the very, very end. So let's go down here. Let's go to Apple. Um, and then we need to drag in our animation. That's right here. So click and I drag that in. Now we have the blend shape Apple selected. We have the animation Apple selected. And that's it. Now we can export it and it will show up in VC phase. I'm about to do that right now to let you know what this is. Also, IK disabled when active. If you're wondering what this is, there are some animations that you might want to do to your avatar that rotate the head or the arms or the legs or one of that. But the thing is, is the arms, the head and legs and everything. Those are controlled by you. So you can't have the animation control in the head and you control in the head. If you're going to control the actual avatar bones, VC face needs to know, okay, who's in control of these bones? Is it you or is it the animation? Cause they can't be both. And that's what IK disabled when active. That's a fancy word, simply meaning completely disable you control in the avatar and let the animation take over. Obviously I don't have any use for anything like that. So I never check it. That's it. You're done. Click your avatar up here. Click VSF SDK. Click export avatar bundle. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. And let's go ahead and let it export. This process will probably take a while. There's quite a lot of stuff that's happening in the background. It's create to create this file and export everything, how it needs to be exported. And it's exported. Now let's go into your settings. Let's go into the expression settings and let's look for it. So by default, neutral, fun, angry. These are default expressions. They're going to be at the top, but going down further past the default expressions. And there we go. 
So Apple, this is the blend shape key that you created. So whatever you name the blend shape key, this is it right here. This is how it will show up. We want additive. So you have one group of animations that's called the base animations and only one animation out of that group can be played at one time. And then you have all the other animations which can be played all at the same time. This is meant to be so you can't be joy and sorrow at the same time. For the other stuff like the angel wings, I don't care if it's joy or sorrow, the angel wings should be toggleable for any emotion. And the same goes for here. So for the apple, we want it to be additive. We want the apple to be toggleable regardless of whatever emotion I might have. And this is also good. We want to enable ab linking, mouth tracking, eyebrow tracking. Yeah, we definitely want to have all that. We definitely want it to be toggle. You can have hold, uh, but I find that toggle just works way better. Usually I have issues if, if it's not toggle. We need to have um, Asana hotkey. Now I'm going to use F keys above F12. Now, a lot of people don't even know that's a thing. I didn't even know that was a thing. I'm going to have a separate video on this. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and assign a shortcut. Pro tip number one, map out your shortcut keys in a text file. Now, if you have like one toggleable prop, you probably don't need to do that. But I have a lot of toggleable props and all these toggleable props. Furthermore, I have different camera shortcuts too, and I have a lot of other shortcuts I use, not just in this program, but other programs, and I need a file to keep it all together. So I'm not guessing which shortcuts I've used and have not used. Yeah. Also, pro tip number two, you need to have your shortcuts. You need to use Control or Alt or Shift plus a key. The reason is, is if you do F16 right here, so... I have a control F16, alt F16, and shift F16. If I did a fourth shortcut that was just F16, then it could accidentally be toggled if I did alt F16. So if I had if I had Apple as just F16 and Angel Wings as Alt F16, then if I toggled the Angel Wings, it might also accidentally toggle the Apple as well. And the same goes for control shift F16 or control alt F16. It might accidentally also toggle the angel wings. So to keep things from crossing over and getting complicated, you want control or alt or shift and a key. And that just makes things very simple and keeps things from overlapping and accidentally triggering each other. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm assigning alt F14 to the apple now. Let's see if it works. There you go. We toggled the apple. <laughs> oh, that even works great with the cat ears. Toggle off, toggle on. And that's how you do it. It's very simple, very easy. If you have a lot of props, it can get very annoying, especially with all the shortcuts and then the repetitive steps. And I'll make a, I'll make more videos later on like the different things, like the shader, setting up the shader like I did. That requires a whole video on its own. F keys that are above F12, that also requires a video on its own. So there's a lot of things that requires on video. I just wanted to keep this one short and simple and that's how you did it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.